Hello guys, welcome back again. And this time around we're going to talk about Raspberry Pi. Specifically the Raspberry Pi 2, which is basically, you know, $35. Uh, if you didn't know, the Raspberry Pi is basically a very cheap, in a sense, PC in a way, but a lot of people get it for emulation. To emulate consoles and stuff. Now basically, uh, the latest edition of this is uh, basically... Uh, packs a quad-core processor with one gigabyte of RAM. Now, specifically, this is a uh, features a 900 megahertz uh, quad-core ARM Cortex A7 CPU, uh, as well, of course, one gigabyte of memory. It also comes with the standard Ethernet, you know, audio jack, and HDMI ports, which kind of are kind of like you have to have those these days in, in a sense. But it's simply known as Raspberry Pi 2. Uh, this macro, you know, it's really micro computer in a way. Uh, helps teach young people how to program, uh, you know. And the interesting thing about this is that this newest device will support Windows 10. You heard me right, Windows 10. Now, for those who don't know, Windows 10, uh, Microsoft has pledged for Windows 7 8 users to be able to upgrade to Windows 10 for free during its first year availability. So what uh, basically uh, people make Raspberry Pi has said is that Microsoft... We'll have much more to share in the coming months. The Raspberry Pi 2 compatible version of Windows 10 will be available for free of charge uh, to makers so that people adapt to Windows 10. Now, this makes complete sense for Microsoft. If they want in the market, if they want new avenues, they have to get their stuff on other devices, no matter how niche the market. Sometimes you have to go after the niche markets to grow. One of the most interesting statistics in the, the GameSpot article below is that uh, Raspberry Pi has sold uh, some 4.5 million units worldwide, so this has become a very popular uh, thing. And a lot of people use this for emulation of consoles. Uh, obviously, uh, the last version of Raspberry Pi, uh, some people did have problems like N64 games on it, shuttering, and obviously with this version, that shouldn't be a problem. You should be able to run, obviously, more emulation uh, on uh, this new version since it's more powerful. Again, these things are really cool, and a lot of you know a lot of hobbyists and uh, people who just love tech get these things to play with them, right? And they are again a cheap alternative. So if you're somebody who's just looking for something to toy with, uh, we'll see uh, what exactly goes on. Uh, and again, a lot of people are skeptical of, and in, in, obviously in the comments to start on their articles about Windows 10. Like, okay, when that free year's over, what happens, right? There's been a lot of debate on what's going to happen with that when the free year over. Is it going to be a subscription after that? Is it really going to be free? You know, that's the question people have with it, not just with this, but in general. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, but for those people who just want a little thing to play with, and obviously this is thing not a very expensive, you know, basically uh, thing to get, being like $35, and it enables you to, to play around with it. So what do you think about it? I think these things are kind of cool. I mean, this thing has power in it. To think how small it is. The fact this thing has that much power is really, really kind of amazing in a way, and, and where we're going with technology these days, that you can, you know, fit so much on such a little thing to do so much now. Uh, while there's a certain size that's too small, that most people think it's too small, becomes too small and frail, this uh, definitely uh, is a cool thing. So what do you think about the Raspberry Pi 2? Are you interested in it? Are you the kind of thing like, you know what, I, I, it's cool, but I don't really care. You know, there's a, there's other options out there. I don't need it. Maybe have, have a Ouya or something else that you're like, eh, I don't need a Raspberry Pi. Are you the kind of person that, that likes to play around with the new tech? Um, because, you know, uh, the res, you know, the Retro Pi... Uh, is a fantastic bundle of emulators, uh, you know, encased in the front end for those who want to play around with emulators. But it just depends on what you actually want to do with it, you know. So, love to hear your guys' opinions on this, like always. And I will make another video soon.